If you're an online business owner who is ready to start saving time and energy by utilizing automations and systems, then this video is for you. I'm going to go over my number one recommended system that I have all of my virtual assistant um, clients use when they are ready to jump into automations. And that is going to be how to automate your discovery call booking process and turning leads to clients with as little manual effort as possible. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey, my name is Kelly Pratt and I am a virtual assistant and virtual assistant mentor and coach. That means not only do I serve clients and help them simplify their business, but I also teach women of all stages of life how to do the same thing and create their own virtual assistant business so that they can achieve financial freedom, time freedom, and unlimited potential. I'm going to walk you step by step how you can create a simple yet effective and time saving workflow that is completely automated using Calendly and Dubsado to turn your leads from just visitors on your website to booked discovery calls where you can then turn them into paying clients. Okay, so this walkthrough is going to assume that you already have a Dubsado account created and set up, and you already have a Calendly account created and set up. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that um, Calendly does offer a free version, and that is perfectly acceptable for this workflow. So this workflow is great for the brand new virtual assistant or the, the online business owner who's just dabbling in automation. So you can get the free version of Calendly. And in fact, Dubsado, if you haven't already signed up, they do have a version where you can sign up to three clients um, with their without having to have the monthly membership. So go ahead and explore that, and I'll put some links um, down below in the description on how you can access that. But let's go ahead and walk through how you would set up a Calendly to Calendly to Dubsado workflow that takes a lead from your website to a booked discovery call where you can then turn them into a paying client. Um, okay, so again, assuming everything is set up, we're gonna start in Dubsado. And when you go to Dubsado, you're gonna go to the Forms tab, Forms tab underneath Templates. And we wanna pick the correct form, and this is important because not all forms are equal on Dubsado. What you want is to create a lead captures form. And I'll kind of explain a little bit later on why you need this one in particular, but go ahead and you'll hit the little plus button. You can create that there. I've already got one set up, so I call it sample book a call. We're going to click on that. And then that is going to open up and I've already done some work here, but what you'll do is you'll go through and set this up. You're going to create the title here. You can add your logo and then you'll just want to um, put any forms fields in there that you might need to have pre-populated before you hop on a discovery call with this potential client. So for me, that looks like their basic contact information when they're looking to start telling me about their project. Um, I want to know where they found me at. So I always kind of ask that question. And with Dubsado, you can create some questions that are required and some that are just open. They don't have to fill those out. Um, but you're going to want to customize that to you. I can't really tell you what to put in there other than like the basic information. And I will say <clears throat> with Dubsado, you will want to get their first name, last name, email, and phone number. That will be helpful later on. So you can walk through the side panel here and you can create different um, fields for them to fill out. Now, while we're inside uh, this form, you're gonna hit save. And then we need to go hop up here and go to Calendly. Okay, so we're inside Calendly. And <clears throat> I'm assuming that you have already set this up with Calendly. Um, you, you'll want to have at least like a discovery call or a consultation, whatever you wanna call it. And you'll already have set up like the perimeters you've connected Calendly to your Google Calendar or your Apple Calendar, whichever you prefer. But that's critical because that will tell Calendly um, when people are able to book. Like if you have a doctor's appointment, that's going to be blocked off on your calendar, your main calendar. So Calendly is going to know not to allow people to book that date, which is really important um, for the automations to work. So once you're inside You've got your discovery call all set up. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here. No, not that one. We're gonna click share. Perfect. Now, 
I'm going to show you probably the simplest way to do this, but if you had a website, you could click um, add to website and you could actually embed your calendar and create your own branded page within your website and have um, a domain for your booking uh, link that is custom to you. I'm assuming that you are brand new and you maybe don't have a website. This is the simplest way to do it. So you're in the share button, you're gonna get a share link and you're gonna click copy this link. We're gonna go right back over here to Dubsado. Perfect, and so we're still inside our form that we just created. And we're gonna go over here, click form settings and let's see, a redirect. So perfect, and we're gonna paste that link right in there and we're going to let me click on here i'm going to click i'm going to give it a status so when this form is completed i want dubsado to assign this form with a status so for me that's leads clients um that can be whatever you want it to be whatever you've set up inside dubsado and okay so we've saved that so i'm going to click save form process for a second now okay so we've got our form we've got our calendly set up and connected as our redirect for this whoever is submitting this form now what we're going to do is we're going to click share and let me move this so we can see and just like i had said earlier if you have a website you can use the embed code to create a branded page which is what i do on my website but i'm assuming that you are brand new to this and you do not have a website set up so let's say you're just working off of social media uh link tree link and bio all of those what you're going to want to do is click the uh, direct link so i've copied that and then you could take that and you could put that drop that into your link tree you could go um to your uh social media platforms anywhere that it says like my website you could put that in there as your website but what we're going to do is i'm going to go over here and i'm going to show you what this form looks like so you're you've taken this link right here and you have either put it into your website or you put it on social media somehow people are finding it so you are putting your business on social media you're putting it out there you're putting your email marketing out there and you're sending people this form whether through your website or directly and asking them to book a discovery call with you from here everything becomes very automated so they are they have found your link one way or another and your ask to them is to complete this form and book a call so i'm going to walk through here what that looks like so i'm going to put my name last name and i'm going to move this up here so we can see and my email Uh, my ideal project start date i'm just gonna pick a random dip my phone number in there and then this is a test uh and then this is where your client would put like their social on there and then let's just do xyz all right um yes and yes and then i'm going to hit send on this i'm as if i'm the lead now it worked perfectly it sent me directly to my discovery call page and so the person can then see when i'm available and they can pick a date and time that works for them so i'm just gonna pick randomly um 11 30 on the 23rd and i'm gonna confirm okay and they can add guests let's say they have an assistant or somebody like that they can add them in there um six perfect and uh, for me on my form i have included areas of service so let's say they're interested in youtube channel management and look, this is a test and let's think and how did you hear about me let's say TikTok. and then i'm going to schedule my event and then from there they're going to get a confirmation page um as well as they put 
their email in there. So they're going to get email reminders leading up to this date that if you set up your Calendly to do so, they will get text reminders. Their initial email, it's going to give them an option to then directly add this with one click to their calendar. So they have no excuse not to show up. That's really going to reduce the number of no-shows that you have. And it will show you that your client is willing to put out the effort to connect with you, which is really valuable when trying to decide if a client is going to be a good client to work with. Because the last thing you want to get is a client that is not communicative or responsive to you. And so this is just kind of like a little litmus test for that. I am pretending to be the lead. I submitted all of that. Now I'm Kelly, the virtual assistant again. And when I go back to my Dubsado, because I use the lead capture form and not a questionnaire, not a general form, it automatically, Dubsado recognized that that particular form was created and it went ahead and created a profile for my lead inside of Dubsado for me. And just like I had selected it whenever I created the form, this lead is already set to look like a lead for clients. So that's like if you use different types of services, you can kind of categorize them automatically. And so if I click on here, um, it's going to have, let me move this, it's going to have collected and distributed all of the information that the lead put in there. Um, if I want to add any information, I can do that now. Um, and so everything about this client will live in this profile. So when your, your appointment time for your discovery call rolls around, you're going to want to open this up, review the notes from what your client put in there. So they're going to put notes in there about their business. All of that will live in this profile. And so when you go to host that call, whether it's Zoom or a telephone call, you're gonna open up a note and you can leave all of your notes right inside the, right inside the here. And so when you come back to it, um, maybe you follow up with them a couple of times, you wanna always note that like I reached out um, on this date and this date. And if your Dubsado is connected to your email, you can click the email button inside and you will be able to see um, a list, a chronological list of any email communication that the two of you might have had at any point. So that, is a really simple but effective and time-saving workflow that you can set up to automate right there that was five tasks that you can automate in your business running your online business that you don't have to manually go in and send emails back and forth and check with the client everything is taken care of so let me just do a real a quick recap of that so in this video we created one workflow using two platforms Dubsado and calendly and we were able to create a, an inquiry link for your clients to fill out or for your leads to fill out. Your leads are going to fill that out and then be automatically re redirected to your booking page where they can then put the effort out and spend the time to find a day and time that worked for them and book it. And Calendly is going to send them all of the reminders and add it to their calendar so that they don't forget. And also, Dubs, Dubsado... Um, created an automatically created a profile, gathered all of the information from your clients. So you don't have to manually enter that. You don't have to ask back and forth. The client gave you, the lead gave you all of that information. And now it's automatically inside Dubsado. You have a place to keep your notes from your discovery call. Whenever they have booked that, you can pop on there. You can write all your notes. You can see all of your email communication with your client right there in Dubsado. And then, like I said, the, because you're using Calendly, your lead is going to get all of the follow-up emails, texts, whatever you have set up so that you increase their show rate. And then that's going to lead to a better outcome, potentially turning that lead into your client. Automation systems workflows are one of my favorite things to do as a virtual assistant because I know the value that they hold. I know how much time and energy they can save an online business owner or a service provider, a virtual assistant, and your time is limited. Like you don't have infinite time. And so the more that you can automate, the more time that you can save and the more you can grow your business. So is there a workflow, um, a system, 
that you really wish you could implement into your business, but you just can't figure out how to make that happen or what tools to use or how many steps that should involve, would you go ahead and drop that in the comments? Because I would love to spend some time and do a walkthrough video for you um, on the systems that would be most valuable to you and your business. So go ahead and leave those in the comments. I would really appreciate it. If you are interested in becoming a virtual assistant, but you're just not quite sure where to get started, this is for you. Go ahead and check the de description of this video. Um, I have a couple of options for you. You can book a one-on-one, -on -one, one-hour consultation Zoom call with me where you can bring your toughest questions, your concerns, and you'll walk away after the fact with action steps and a plan to get started. Um, and I'll give you all of the tips, resources, and insider information that I can as a veteran virtual assistant. Your other option is to join my monthly coaching membership, which is actually a better deal because um, you get access to all of my templates. Um, I'll troubleshoot things for you. I'll review your portfolios, everything. So it's a better deal all around, but you can check out both of those in the description below training for this week. Um, if you are looking for ways to streamline your business or you're looking to become a virtual assistant, ditch your nine to five, have time flexibility, financial freedom, a limited growth and potential and find a legitimate work from home business, go ahead, join me each week I'll be bringing you videos that are real world, um, usable, applicable skills, trainings, resources, templates, workflows, um, anything that I'm working through in my business, I'm going to try to share with you if I think that it would be a benefit. So this was somebody if you think they might find it useful. Um, but again, join me next week for our next training and resources.